Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 66, so let's play Golden Sun The Lost Age. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, I used like one minor change to my party. I swapped up Piers with Mia because, you know, I like to give her a little bit more experience. And if I run into a bit of trouble, Piers can come in in her place. But like I said before, the next boss is not as tough as Star Magician. It just has more HP, but it's manageable. I am the Guardian of Fire. If you want my power, prove yourself in my Crucible of Flame. Are you floating? Okay, this boss's name is Valokar. He can be quite tough if you don't know what to do. But if you do know, then obviously you're not going to have any issues. Let's just use Kindle. Then you use Resist. Mia, you can go use, say, Steam. Give us more resistance. I swapped out some of Mia's and Pierce Gene. I say we'll do alright. Yeah! Okay, that's the gimmick about Valokar. Whenever you have any Gene on standby, he can actually summon them against you. And they will show up on recovery, even though you never used them. So all the gene that we used that turn, he used against us. That can make him very dangerous. He can also take some of your gene to put on standby, like probably one on each party member, and then decide to use them himself. But remember, if he puts any of your gene on standby, you can also use them. So that can work in his favor or against him depending on what happens next. We'll definitely need more agility. I'd say Blitz would be good. Let's see, what next? I can recover these right now if I wanted to, but not yet. That's why I'm going to save Eddie for later. Let's use Hail. Depending on how many Jean you have on standby, that can make the battle even more dangerous. Luckily, the summon's power is based on maximum HP, and you don't have a lot compared to him. That's why summons like Megara obviously are not going to be doing him much favors. Jeez, if we keep this up, we'll never be able to summon anything! All I can summon is just one Venus! But, better than nothing, let's just use it. We can use Kindle again, because it's recovered. Let's try Wheeze. And just to heal up. Let's see, can we have everybody heal? Oh yeah, Spritz. So all this Jean is going to get a lot of work. I consider this battle more of a Jean clusterfuck than anything. That's all that's going to be used! Ridiculous! Oh great, he actually attacked and used Jin Stun. So one of ours each is on standby thanks to Jin Stun. But that actually works in our favor because now we can use these. It would be a good idea to use summons as soon as possible. I see Felix will go with Zagan. You can go with... Should we use Megara? Yeah, we'll use Megara. And you can use Blitz, and Mia can go with Moloch. Since we got more agility, we should use all these before he can get a move. That way he doesn't get any to work with. Maybe just one. Let's see if we can drop his defense. Yeah, considering he has a ton of HP, even low-level summons like Zagan are going to do a ton of damage. Stun Chip! Ooh. That really hurts Shiva badly. Okay, I say we'll go with Zagan again. What can I use next? Can't go with Atalanta, even though it seems like a good idea. Actually, Jenna, why not? You go for it. What can you use? Um, 
You don't have anything that can heal, which sucks. You use Mercury, and I'm gonna have Mia heal you. Pure Apply. Actually, I'll just use that in a gene. Say Fizz. That way we get different elemental powers for everyone. There we go. Now Shiva gets some healing. And that Mercury genie we just used, he got to use. There we go. This is gonna turn out to be a much easier fight than the previous one we had. A much easier one. Eh, what the hell, we just use Core. Wheeze. And we got a lot on recovery. Oh, wait, we can't use Eddie. We have to wait. Let's try Spritz, maybe? Yeah, nah, let's go with Sleet. I say we'll do it just fine. Wait, I didn't think I did a many summons that time. Now he can use Moloch on us. Ow. That's a serious drop in agility. Thank God Stun Chip never connected, otherwise we'd have people stunned. And now our agility is back to normal already. And it just dropped a few seconds ago. We're gonna need some healing, so I'm gonna use Crystal. Megara. Quarrel. And let's see. Oh, we don't have any in the pool. Use no, not spritz. We already got healing done. Hail. And our attacks can't go any higher. There, yeah, that's much better. Oh, I wanted to swallow him whole. Not that it would work anyway. And it's just one Jupiter. Okay, what's well, gonna be our next summon? And resistance is back to normal, that's just great. I can use Moloch. What the hell, Felix? Go for it. I use char. And uh, maybe resist. And probably steam or eddy. Yeah, I'll go with steam. Doesn't have much left though. Well, his agility can't drop anymore. I feel bad for the guy. He's as slow as he can be. But then I realized he just did that on us. Even though the damage output was obviously very, very low. Ooh, that stun chip is still devastating. Now Valakar's attack is back to normal. Wow. Let's go for it. Probably use coal. Use breath. Now we use Eddie. Let's see how much closer we are to beating him. We still need a lot more. Huh, another gene stun. But Fugu Blitz do. Okay, a uh, two! Well, that actually works in our favor now. Thanks! You just wasted a turn. 
Hmm. I don't want to use Eclipse with Felix. Okay, so I'll still have two left. Well, I can definitely use the gun. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I could use Ulysses. I still have enough for Eclipse. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Neil will just have a Venus? Nah, you use his turn for healing. Oh, you can't, because too many on standby. You can't use Spritz, either. I suppose you could You just use one bit of healing for Jenna. She needs it more. Who knows, it may not be necessary after this round. Got him! He Technically, he got himself! Jenna's at level 39, nice. Isaac's at level 38. And we get the summon! That fight was obviously much easier than Star Magician. It just turned out a lot better. Felix has now summoned Daedalus. To summon Daedalus, four Mars, three Venus standby gene are needed. So obviously it's going to be a lot more powerful. In fact... I can't wait to test this out. So who shall be the unlucky victim? If it were up to me, I'd be going to Alhafra to test it out on the mirror, but sadly you can't. So I guess we have to wait for an unsuspecting victim. Which is only a matter of time. Thank you for showing up. Ah, what the hell? I'm gonna let Jenna use it. Master Craftsman of Ancient Times. Sounds awesome. The thing about Daedalus that's so awesome is that its attack does not last through one turn, but through two turns. We're gonna shoot like a big barrage of missiles right now. And he shoots another one that goes up into space which will then come down in the next turn. So these guys are lucky enough to survive that first barrage. But are they really lucky? I don't think so. I mean, watch what happens next. When the second turn ends, the other missile comes down. Dropping the death bomb. Now, isn't that awesome that you can use something that lasts through two turns and the second turn is obviously more devastating? Oh yeah, you're gonna have good times with this. Anyways, I'll stop the video right here and next part, I'll meet you back at the Sea of Time Islet. Goodbye, everyone.